Hello, we are the Beach Heroes with Friends of Semiamu Bay Society, and we have some helpful tips for you when you're at the beach. By following these guidelines, you will see some really cool critters, have fun, and not disturb the beach during your visit. There can be a lot of animals hiding under rocks. The best way to search for them is only move rocks the size of your two hands or smaller. This way you will always be in control of the rock. With both hands, place one on either side and lift straight up. Take a look on the underside of the rock, as well as the spot you lifted the rock. When you're done, place the rock back gently how you found it. Any critters that you find will be scared, because you're a giant compared to them. Be gentle with the animals, and they will be gentle with you. Some animals, though, should be avoided, and disturbed as little as possible. If you are exploring a particularly rocky area, you might find a fish under the rock. That fish is a plain fin midshipman, and it is not trapped. These fish live in the deep ocean and come to the beach in the summertime to breed. The fish you see is the male protecting the nest, and he can stay out of water up to eight hours. The best thing to do is put the rock back right how you found it, so the fish and any eggs on the underside of the rock are protected. We find that plain fin midshipmen prefer to nest under rocks around Crescent Beach Pier so avoid disturbing this area during your visit. During low tide, sometimes you can find a sea star or a starfish attached to the rock. If you see one, you can touch them very gently with a single finger on their back. However, never try to pick up a sea star. Sea stars have many tube feet that act like suction cups and hold really tightly to the surface, and you are ripping off those feet when you pick it up. Another critter you may find at low tide is jellyfish. Jellyfish can't swim very well, and sometimes the tide leaves them stranded in the sand. The clear ones are moon jellies and can't sting you. The red ones are lion's mane jellies, and they can sting you very badly even after they are dead. If you see any kind of jellyfish, never touch it or attempt to pick it up. They are extremely fragile creatures and can very easily be torn apart. Leave them where they are and let others around you know if you see a lion's mane jelly so they will stay away. If you do ever get stung by a jellyfish, the best thing to do is rinse the area with vinegar or seawater, avoid rubbing the area, and do not use any ice on the sting. Use tweezers to remove the tentacles and barbs, and check with a doctor as soon as possible. Everyone loves playing in the sand at the beach, but it's very important to remember that even the sand has life in it. All the holes you see are breathing tubes, maybe for a worm, or a clam, or shrimp. So if you build a sand castle, that is a giant pile of sand blocking someone's breathing tube. Once you've finished with your castle, flatten out the sand so any animals will be able to dig back through and make a new hole. Personally, I really enjoy this part. Die, sand castle! Mwahahaha! -ha -ha -ha. Similarly, any holes you dig can displace a lot of animals, particularly clams, so fill them back up once you're done. We are sure that you're going to find lots of cool critters and pretty shells and rocks on the beach, but please remember that it is illegal to take anything from beaches or parks, even if the shell is empty, because it will be recycled by the ocean or become a home for something else. What you can collect and take home is sea glass, as it is a form of ocean litter. Do your best to clean up all your garbage and triple check that you have all of your beach toys. Us beach heroes spend a lot of our day picking up lost toys and forgotten trash, so it would be a huge help. Every one of you can be a beach hero, and we need your help to keep our beaches and oceans clean and beautiful for years to come. Thank you for listening. You can go to the Friends of Semiamu Bay website for more information.